Moving on, we're going to talk about reliability and accuracy. You'll be asked in your coursework how uh, you could how, how you can be sure your research is reliable or how you could improve accuracy. So, an accurate measurement is one that's close to the true value, what it actually is. So, if you what measure something, let's say we're measuring a pebble, and the length of the pebble you measure is 8.8 .8 centimeters. The thing that will reduce accuracy is errors. Okay, so if you make a mistake measuring it and you're at you measure 8.8, .8, whereas the true value is 8.9 centimetres, then your result is slightly inaccurate. We can actually increase accuracy by um, measuring it many, many times. You discard any strange results called anomalies, we'll deal with them in the next video, and then you take a mean. So to reduce error in measurements, you take a mean, and this will um, eliminate a lot of random errors that will crop up. Won't eliminate systematic errors, but it will elim elim uh, excuse me, <laughs> eliminate random errors. Let's say, for example, you've got a class full of children, and you're looking for the average age of the class. Let's say it's maybe about 13, but if you've got uh, an older student or a teacher in there, you've got a, a result that doesn't fit the pattern. You need to remove that from the results. So you take away any anomalies, you take a mean of the results, and this uh, reduces the effects of random errors. You need to make sure you know how to take a mean adding up all the results and dividing by the number of results. A reliable um, result is one that will bear up to repeat, so you'll get the same answer over and over again. So asking somebody, what's your name? You should always get the same answer. Now, if you get a strange result, one that doesn't fit the pattern, you would either have to discard that and ignore that answer, or you can repeat the trial make sure it wasn't maybe you just made a mistake so accuracy and reliability